Did you know that giving early access to new products is a great way to incentivize VIP customers? Hola everyone, Christian here. In this video, I wanna show you two ways you can give early access to products or collections to your most loyal customers. Now, in a previous video, I actually got a few comments on basically questions, right, on how to achieve this. And we come up with two solutions. Number one is going to be using a paid app through the Shopify app store. And then the second one is going to be natively. So it's gonna be free uh, using a little bit of custom code and some of the features already built in within Shopify. So stick around towards the end where I'm gonna show you that free version. It's gonna be a little bit lengthy, but it might be beneficial for some of you who maybe don't wanna pay for a monthly fee for those apps. So the app that we are gonna recommend is called Locksmith. It is a powerful tool that helps you access control on your online storefront. It's one of the best apps on Shopify with hundreds of good reviews. It's easy to set up and it has an amazing support system that they respond pretty quickly. So the main feature of course is to lock your products and you can customize the condition that customers need to actually unlock it. So it could be using a passcode, it could be visiting before or after a certain date and time, uh, having a certain product in their cart, etc. Uh, the pricing, it starts at $9 a month and you can actually test it out for free for 15 days uh, to see if it actually works for you. So let's jump into the App Store, or not the App Store, our actual store and see how Locksmith works and what options we have within the app. All right, so we're gonna go ahead over to apps over here, then already hot locksmith, locksmith installed. And then as you can see, I've already created one lock, um, but this is the basic functionality, right? So you wanna add a lock. You can search for products, collections, variants, pages, etc. So it's very powerful in what you can do. And you can also do a liquid lock. So if you want a little bit more powerful, more advanced settings, you can do the liquid lock. I'm gonna go back. And then let me delete this one so we can redo it. And what I have is I already have a collection with a set of products that I want to sort of lock under, right? So we're gonna do, um, yeah. So we have Pulp Fiction shirt designs. So it will give you some products. So we have design A, design B, and then we have an actual collection with those products in there. So you wanna make sure that you have check mark enable this collection and protect products in this collection. So when enabled, Locksmith will automatically protect all the products inside of this collection. So create lock. And there we go. It will redirect you, re redirect you to the actual lock page. Now in here, you'll see that this lock, it will give you some announcements or some um, warning messages. It says this lock has no keys, so nobody can actually access this right now. And then it'll also say products in this collection will still appear in search results and collection list. So that's very important to note because there are some settings in here that you can check box so that it doesn't happen. Because right now, if I search for, you know, Pulp Fiction, and if I do have a search bar, um, which most Shopify sites already have a search bar, then you'll be able to still see those products. And if these products, let's say they appear on the new arrivals collection, then, um, the, the fact that we have them locked doesn't really do anything. So we wanna make sure that those products that are in the newer office collection also don't show up over there. Or if they do show up, the, the customer doesn't have access to actually add them to the cart. So the first thing we wanna do is actually add a key. So let's add a key. And then this is where it gives you a few options. So you can do things like the customer is signed in. You can do a customer has a tag. So let's say maybe you tag customers with VIP, for example. Um, you can also do a, an actual passcode. So you have to have a very specific keyword to enter that collection and buy those products or arrives via a secret link. So let's say that you only treat your VIP customers with a email announcement, right? Um, for those uh, sort of pre-sale, right? You have a pre-sale for this Pulp Fiction shirts and you only want to message them maybe through SMS or email, then you can do just a that secret link that whoever gets that email and clicks on that particular link, is, those are gonna be the only people who are able to actually open those products. In this case, we're gonna do the passcode, I think. And then in here, it will change the settings so that uh, you can actually set your passcode. So we're just gonna do VIP, uh, let's do VIP, yes. 
And note, this is case sensitive. So depending on if you have uppercase, lowercase, and then it does give you a few more options in there. Let me click out of that. And as we can see, now we have that key in there. Permit if the customer gives a passcode VIP, yes. Now you also have the option to add other keys if you want to sort of super protect, right? Um, this particular uh, collection. And then the other thing we wanna do is like it says here, um, or like I talked about earlier, is the ability to hide those products whenever they show up on other collections or things like that. So we're gonna do hide any links to this collection and its products. So anywhere on the menus that I have that, it's gonna hide it. And then I'm gonna hide this collection and its products. So from your source native search results page and any collection that lists in your shop. So again, if that product is on your arrivals, we're gonna hide it from there. So let's click save on that. Now, before we moving on, I just wanna say bienvenidos. My name is Christian Pinon, one of the co-founders here at Big Branding. We're an e-commerce growth agency that specializes in helping clothing stores grow and scale profitably online. We drop new videos every week, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out. All right, so let's take a look at how this shows up on our store. So let's click on our store collections. And then as you can see right now, that Pulp Fiction collection does not show up under our collection list. So let's go to our products, collections. Let's search for that Pulp Fiction collection. Here we have it. And let's click on view. And if we did this correctly, Oh, so it's because I'm already logged in here. So let me log out of this account, close that. Let's try to open that again. And if that doesn't work, okay, that works. So it says, please enter the passcode to continue. Again, if we go look, go look at the URL, you can see that we're under collections, pull fiction, uh, shirt design. So we're in the right spot. So it gives you the opportunity to do this. So let's do VIP, yes. It's gonna take a moment and it's gonna load that collection for you. So. That's how you do it with an app. And this particular uh, scenario, we've done a Pulp Fiction collection with two items in there, and we've done the passcode. Like I said, you have other options in there, and you can play around with some of the settings uh, within Locksmith. Again, it's very, very powerful, and it only starts at $9 a month. And they also have a, uh, which I didn't talk about this, but their pricing, uh, they have something that says you pay what feels good. So if you have any problems with what you're paying, um, then you can just reach out to them and say, hey, I wanted to make sure that I'm under the $9 month plan and that I stay under the $9 month plan. So um, yeah, I would definitely check it out see if it works for you. Um, and let me know in the comments um, how you like this app, Locksmith. Now let's try to achieve this natively uh, within your theme. And this example, I'm actually using Turbo, which is a sort of third party theme. And we're gonna make it, this actually will make it work for any theme out there. The steps may be just a little bit different, but for the most part, we'll follow, you'll follow the same steps. There may be some things to look out for, and I will let you know uh, what those things are. Now, before we begin this, I do want to go over some housekeeping items here. I've already, well, let me double check here. Um, should have a collection um, called, yeah, VIP Preview. Now I'm gonna delete that because I did find out something as I was building this and I'm gonna click on delete that collection so that I can redo it. So let's create that collection and let's call it VIP preview. Now in this collection, <clears throat> we're gonna do automated products and we're gonna do the vendor is equal to vendor is equal to VIP. So the reason why I did it this way, and you have other options that you can do, um, but we'll touch on this a little bit later. But for now, this is going to be the first step. Basically, we're just creating what those products are going to be inside of that VIP uh, preview cell, if you will. So I've done it this way. So product vendor equals to VIP, but you can do it however you want. You can do manual, for example, um, but we'll get to the reasoning why a little bit later in the video. So I'm gonna click save on that. Okay, and then I already have the products in here and that's because these products under their vendor, they have VIP already set up. So um, that's just a little bit of housekeeping that we had to do before. Now let's get into the actual uh, 
steps. So we're gonna go to online store and then under your theme, drop down action, edit code. And then what we're gonna do here is add a new template. So under templates, click on add a new template. And then the drop down here, we're gonna do a new collection template. And then we wanna make sure that we select liquid for the template type. And then this is where you give it a name. So the collection is gonna be just the VIP, for example. So it could be collection.vip.liquid. Create that template. This is gonna automatically populate um, some copy or some code for you. Um, we're gonna delete all of this and we're actually gonna paste this, which you will find in the description below. I believe, yeah, from one of the, the things that you need to be looking out for is the, what are these called? Quotes. The quotes, quotations. Yeah, uh, sometimes when you copy and paste code, uh, the quotations are, are gonna be wrong. So you wanna make sure, in, in this instance, uh, this is wrong right here. So um, we'll make sure that that's green. So I'm just backspacing those quotes and typing my own instead of doing the copy and paste. So <clears throat> basically what this says is if customer tag contains VIP, then show the section, right? However, it, it's illustrated. If else, um, then load the page, no access. So that's all we're doing. We're just basically gating this with the ability to tag customers. Again, the tagging customers was an option for Locksmith, but we didn't do it that way. So this just gives you an alternative. And this is the only way that I've found so far on how to do this natively. So once we have that inserted correctly and you see the green collection and then green VIP, you can click save. And this is where if the customer tag, if you don't want it to be VIP, you want it to be something else. Maybe you want to be loyal or whatever word you want to have, to have in there. Um, you can change that VIP. Now, just take into consideration that when you go to your customers and your customers list, then you want to make sure that that matches exactly um, what you have here in this code. Same with the page right here. So the actual page will create, we'll call it no access, but in your sense uh, or in your instance, you may call it something completely different. That's completely fine. Just want to make sure that you change the name within the code here. All right, so now that we have this set up, we're gonna to go to our collection that we already created, which is the VIP preview. And then under the theme template, we're gonna make sure that we select the VIP one that we just created. Click save. So that means that this particular collection is gonna use the rules for VIP that we created in the backend. Now, the last thing that we need to do is make sure that we create that no access page so that when someone who's not logged in and is not a VIP member, doesn't have that tag in the customer, then they'll get this message that says, you don't have access to this. So we're gonna go to online store. Once inside of pages, you wanna click on add page, and then we're gonna call this no access. And then we're gonna just type a message that says, this is a private collection, please join our VIP list to view it. Click save on that. Now, before we move on, I just wanna let you in a little secret. We're using a tool called Triple Well for all of our clients and group coaching members. And this is a powerhouse that allows us to see lifetime value for customers at 30, 60, and 90 days. But what I'm most excited about is the estimated action of customers. Imagine being able to send out emails or run ads to customers who are likely to buy from you a second or third time and knowing when to send out these marketing messages. It's so, so powerful. You need to make sure you check out Triple Well in the description link below. Okay, so we created the uh, VIP collection. We created the page for no access. Um, all we have left to do is make sure that we have a customer. In this case, it's gonna be me. So we're gonna click on Christian here and we wanna make sure that the tag is set up for VIP. So it's already tagged. I'm already tagged as VIP, but if you open up the customer and you don't have the tag, you just basically just type it in and you add VIP to it, and it will add the tag VIP um, on that customer. Uh, I believe you can do this at bulk too, by just selecting all the customers um, like that, clicking on more actions, and then adding tags. All right, so now that we have everything in place, um, all we have to do is just test it out and see how it works. So if we go to collections right now, um, in this instance, you'll be able to see the VIP preview collection right here. 
So when we click on it, it actually gives you the message. This is a private collection. Please join our VIP list to view it. Now this looks ugly, right? <laughs> there is no spacing whatsoever. It's just like one sentence. So if you want to know how to create custom pages, um, again, no apps needed, no gem pages or anything like that. If you want to know how to create these custom pages within your store, leave a comment down below and we'll make that video next for you so we can fix this page right here. Now, um, it, says, it has the right message, right? We're not logged in and we don't have the, the tag VIP, obviously because we're not logged in. So in order to be able to see that, we're going to click on login and type this. Okay, so now we're logged in. And again, it's my account. So we're tagged with VIP. Now let's go to the VIP preview. Okay, uh, delete that little section where I was not saying anything. Um, <clears throat> so we have a liquid error. So it says liquid error, error in tag, section collection is not a valid section type. So very important. And this is one of the things that I told you that you need to be on the lookout for. Now let's go back to our code here and look over our collection.vip. All right, so what's happening here is that the section collection doesn't really exist. The section collection, that's actually a template, right? So collection.liquid is under template. So if we go under sections, we'll see that collection, the collection one is actually called collection-template. And this is where on your store, it might be a little bit different, right? The naming conventions would be a little bit different. So that's the only thing that you need to be paying attention to. So in this sense, we just need to add the word template here with that dash. So just same as this collection dash template. So collection dash template. And let's hit on save. And that should do the trick. Because again, we're saying that we want to pull up the section, right? So if we're calling a section, we need to make sure that the section exists within the section folder right here within your store. Now let's go back over here, refresh this page. And now we have access. So now we have access to the VIP preview with the th three products that we have in here. Now let's go back to um, what I said before about why I did the VIP tagging on the vendors. And the only reason why I did that is because is the only way that I could do, uh, for example, something that's very, something that a lot of stores have is that new arrivals collection, right? So I wanted to figure out a way to uh, hide those products from the new arrivals. And this particular theme, we don't have a search bar. Uh, we don't really need a search bar. So uh, we don't have to necessarily worry about that. But when it comes to these products and being, for example, on the new arrivals, uh, the way that I, we had set up new arrivals, I believe it's like, if the product is a dollar or more than you know, added to this collection. So what we've done is under the new arrivals, for example, where we know these products will eventually end up and we don't want them to end up there. We have the, yeah, so we have inventory stock is greater than zero for our new arrivals, but it also must match the fact that the product vendor is not equal to VIP. So that means that all the products that are tagged with VIP as the vendor will get rid of right, right here within the new arrival. So that's just a little workaround to make sure that these products don't show up on other collections. So that's very important. Um, obviously, when you actually launch the product, then you can add all the additional information because um, maybe you have things set up in the back end where the product has, you know, maybe a product type of t-shirts, it automatically gets added to the t-shirts collection. So you just wanna be paying attention to those, those minor details um, because that means that those products will show up on those other collections um, if you had them set up just as you normally would for any other product on your store. All right, if you already have everything set up, uh, if you had any questions, please let me know in the comments below if this actually works for you. I'll give you two options on how to do it. Um, obviously that later one, it's a little bit more lengthy um, and you may have some questions there. So let me know in the comments below. And if you're ready for the next video, you can check it out right here. See you on the next one.